Seems crisis after crisis has been hitting our community and all in the middle of this COVID pandemic. But thanks to our giving community, one local nonprofit has been answering the call for families dealing with the most dire of circumstances from evictions to flooding, even fires. Rodney Belcher breaks out in tears as he talks about the blaze that destroyed his family's home and nearly killed them all. His daughter alerted them to get out of the house. She had 911 on the line as she was coming down the steps. <laughs> she did such a good job. These photos show the remnants of the fire that left them all hospitalized with smoke inhalation. Did it take over the whole house? Yes, very quickly. Fortunately, they escaped without physical injuries, but now they have to rebuild from scratch. We haven't even dealt with the emotional part yet. We've been trying to get by day to day and, you know, put their so face hard. on it. Especially in the middle of COVID. Yep. They were led here to the Furniture Bank of Southeast Michigan, located in Pontiac. If you don't have a bed to sleep in, if your child doesn't have a bed to sleep in, if your family doesn't have a table around which to share a meal, you're going to be in really, really difficult shape. Set up much like a furniture store for families going through turmoil. They can shop with dignity for what they need. We want to get families in need with the furniture they need to live with dignity and stability and comfort in their home. This woman had to escape a domestic violence situation. She and her child have gotten help from local agencies to relocate to a safe space, but she needs furniture. So this is a blessing for you. Yes, it is. Everything's a blessing. Like this place here, I mean, I had to put some forward, which made me feel like I'm doing an okay job, mom, because nothing in life is free. And while these items are all donated, people do pay a small amount to help keep the lights on and the bills paid. Beds are always in high demand. For Kenesha, she just needed sofas and a kitchen table. Now, did they give you everything that you need? Oh, yes. I already had the beds and stuff. Her five-year-old daughter, Sheila, even got to pick out sheets. I like this one. They not only pick up donated furniture, but they also do deliveries for those in dire situations from things like fires, flooding, even eviction. And when this moratorium is lifted, experts believe one in four families will be affected. It's a traumatic experience because they're losing everything. And then they have to rebuild. And that's why we're here. It's such a godsend to be able to come and have somebody do this kind of stuff for you. The Furniture Bank gives out two to 3,000 beds a year. 800 to 900 to kids alone. We want the kids to feel good about the bed they're sleeping in. We want them to get a healthy start in life. And for families like the Belchers, there are not enough words to express their gratitude. I'm glad we got in contact with them because they really saved us. I'm so glad too. Thank you. Now, Rodney Belcher is disabled and suffers from many health issues. He and his wife have set up a GoFundMe page because they have so much need right now. We have a link on our website at WXYZ.com. Now, if you need help, you must be connected to the Furniture Bank through local agencies to gain access. And if you want to donate furniture or want to give much needed dollars, call 248-332-1300 or go to FurnitureBank.org to find out more information.